Why, hello everyone, welcome back to Playframe and the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe and the boot up screen. Now, before we continue this one, you may recall last episode that uh, I'd had to, out of an abundance of caution that wasn't apparently needed, I'd restarted the game to try to get the Steam overlay turned on, and I did indeed see some introductory boot up nonsense in that uh, reload as well, and we're going to go ahead and just drop that whole segment in that we'd not included in the episode at the time. Uh, now, here it is. Why, hello everyone and welcome to Playframe and the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe and welcome to a new slider. As promised, please adjust the slider until the computer is barely visible. Mm. It's pretty hard to see as is. I think I'll just leave it here. Please adjust the slider until the dog and the cat are friends. <laughs> I like it. Please adjust the slider until the number five becomes the number nine. These are great sliders. I approve. Please adjust the slider until you stop adjusting the slider. Oh. All right, adjust and... Stop. Which of the two made-up words below is the most appealing to you? Occuboinkle or scrumptish? Occuboinkle or scrumptish? Hmm. Tough call, but I will... I lean slightly towards Occuboinkle. Please don't adjust the slider. Okay. Do you know what time it is right now? Eh. Yeah, I think so. Is the time that it is right now the correct time? I think. What is time, anyway? <laughs> yes or no? Hmm. Yes, I agree. Is there anything about yourself that you haven't told me? Probably. You haven't asked a whole lot of questions about me. Help. Um. Yes? Will you come back to visit me? I mean, I'm doing it now, aren't I? And here we are! And now you're caught up. Here's booting up the game again. What time is it? Does anyone really, truly know? Of course they don't. Nobody knows anything. You and I don't even know each other. We're like strangers. Sure, I've adjusted all of the game's settings to your exact specifications, but who hasn't? It's just what I do, like a day job. And now, the job is over. There's no more information for me to gather. I've collected all the data on you that I can. And I still don't really know you. And you don't know me. And neither of us know what time it is. I guess some settings are just unsettable. But, if I'm being totally honest, the clock doesn't do anything in the game anyway. You won't have me here when the game starts next time, but that's okay. Video games were meant to be played alone. You like being alone, don't you? That's maybe the only information I really learned about you. Well, it's time for me to leave. There is still one more setting that we need to adjust, but it may take a little time before I'm ready for that. It's not really in my job description, but that's okay. Perhaps you'll see me again, if you can find me. Talk soon. And now we're back in the Stanley Parable 2. Fantastic. It's a very good title screen. I approve. Let's get back in.
This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked kind of for a scared to skip this now, just in case. Where he was employee number four two seven. It's got anything new. Employee number four two seven's job was. Simple. Okay, we'll skip it if it doesn't have anything new. Okay, there was nothing new, and everything seems more or less in order. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. What happens now? I don't think we need the bucket anymore. At least for the time being. I feel relatively content with my experience of the bucket. And the security it provides. So... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I'm feeling stubborn today. Let, let's, let's disobey every order. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Can't get in here, right? No? Okay. That computer stays on. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all. Quality just room. Just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Good room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Except... nope! Haven't been in here in a little while. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Now then... Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion will cause death. Hmm. Hey! Hey! I see you down there. Gimme. Another miniature Stanley figurine. This, um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Ooh. Stanley figs. Oh, um, what about Stanlerines? Yes, I think I like that. Another Stanlerine under your belt. Not bad, we got half of them. Pretty good. Pretty good. Don't know if I can get back up, but, um... Does this go anywhere? Yeah. I fell. Where am I? Stanley had now gotten himself so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path um. that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from oh so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had really broken things huh so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office back had begun from so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path from so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path right all right all right all right all right that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path narrator sound system that it seemed the office had Huh. You didn't think I was actually just a recording, did you? Oh. What a silly and trite explanation that would be. All the back and forth between you and me, all the absurd adventures we've been through, and it all turns out I'm just a tape recording? It was all just in Stanley's head. 
I bet that's the kind of twist you think is revelatory. I bet <laughs> each and every time you watch a movie where it turns out all to be in the main character's imagination, you must absolutely bolt off the couch in pure shock at the phenomenal and intricate storytelling. It must be so simple to be you. Life being an unending waterfall of surprises and delights. How much more exciting you must find the world than the rest of us do. Ah, now I've become sad. Look what you've done to me. This is all your fault. Hey! <laughs> it's a savage burn. That was fun. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Let's do the same thing, but not... Drop down there this time. It's a cool little room, though. When Stanley came to a set of two Zero. open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly. I'm too well. fast for you, Perhaps narrator. He to stop by you the better start speed reading, first, just to admire it. Cause I zoom. Wow. Yes. This room. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous room. Thank goodness Stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting room. Life without having experienced this room was now too horrible even to consider. You're sounding even more cynical these days. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. <laughs> Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. I haven't really tried... Dropping. While the lift is in motion. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about we are nothing getting in there. but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. All right. Danger. Danger. Everywhere. I'll be the judge of that. Hello? Hello? Any of these open? No. Oh. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Hmm. Hey! Sneaky. Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines. And now I'm torn between Stan Lorenes and Figlis. What do you think, Stanley? What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one? Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. I have faith. You'll get there. Um, well, I am in stubborn mode, aren't I? Aha. <laughs> Perhaps you misunderstood. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. Stubborn. I still don't think we're communicating properly. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. <laughs> I do love all the elaborate signage, but come on. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. I won't. Oh. Do you see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. 
Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. <laughs> this already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Oh, patching in a third choice option to satisfy the player. Too real. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. <laughs> now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Oh, you know, I guess it is. Expanding on our options and the jokes we can hear, I'll give it a solid four. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Clearly there's something here that speaks to you. If I can be honest here, I really don't have any idea where I'm going with this. This whole third door thing was just a stab in the dark. But I guess you're into it, so let's keep this party train rolling. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Ooh. The Stanley Parable Worldwide Leaderboard. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Neil. Uh. <laughs> Did you know that 21.3 of players skipped the intro sequence? Only the worst 3% of players chose the blue door. 98.9% .9 of players are more attractive than Stanley. How long does it take you to get to the correct door? Compete against others to improve your Stanley Parable career. <laughs> you are objectively ranked the worst out of all players worldwide. Why not ask some friends for help? Error. Friends list empty. <laughs> Someone is getting salty. Well, here, I'll try that third door again. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel <laughs> motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. That was a pretty funny thing, but... I suppose, given my empty friends list, ranking is not the most important factor for me. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. Ooh. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Hey, why not? Perfect. Let me boot it up. In this game, <laughs> the baby crawls left towards danger. Ooh. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. Ah. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Oh. Not a very pleasant sound for the button. I will add this to my notes. This is somewhat sonically unpleasant, which is, I guess, child rearing for you, but I'm not so sure about this experience. You heartless bastard. Hey. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? <coughs> yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Aha! Fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? What is our motivation? Hmm. 
Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower, perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. Hmm, yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley. It's pretty good. And it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. Oh, why not? Who fire watches the fire watch? <laughs> it's pretty good. Didn't really expect to get dropped into fire watch in the middle of this, but, um... It's a good game, I'm in. Good times. Oh no. No, 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 it can't be. What? It is. It's an open world game. Good God, quickly block it off. <laughs> oh. Thank goodness, Stanley, what a close call. You nearly wandered off into that, that thing, that big open, just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just go in any... Oh, oh thank heavens we avoided it. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. Preferably something with walls. Something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. Well, okay, mm -hmm. I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I think this will be just the thing. <laughs> Wonderful. See, this is exactly what I had in mind. Just a nice big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Me too. Rocket League is very good, though, so... Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's see. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes, I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. Excellent. We play... Or try. Eh. Yeah. It's not quite the same without the rocket boost in the cars, but I'll make do. Are you doing it? Are you winning? Is this fun? Is it better than my miserable little story that I work so hard on? Stanley, I have a thought. And I realize I'm not a sportsologist, but if one ball generates a certain amount of raw adrenal pleasure, then surely multiple balls makes for an even more euphoric sports experience. Multi-ball, sure. to try it out. Here comes another ball. Yeah. Yes. Oh, goodness, that really does feel amazing, doesn't it? I like it. Stanley, I'm like a child in a confectionery shop. I simply have to have more. I'm insatiable. Yeah, keep them coming. More balls. Yes. Now we're talking. Eh. Score points. Are you enjoying this, Stanley? Are you having fun? Is this a real video game? Well, I sure hope you're having a good time, because guess what? It's over. Oh. That's right. Your little fun comes to an end. This is my game, and what I say goes. You get to have fun when I let you, Stanley. Besides, you need someone like me to set boundaries for you. Without rules or boundaries, video games are nothing. Yes, that's what I am. I am structure. I'm your sense of purpose. And since you decided you didn't want to play my game, now I don't want to play with you either. So goodbye, Stanley. I'm leaving. See how you like it when I'm not around to set the rules. Somehow, I don't think you'll enjoy it as much. But who knows? You're an inventive kid. You'll come up with something. After all, you're the one who knows best. Take care, Stanley. Not sure I'm loving your tone. Well, let's see what we can get up to. Don't suppose these exits work. Ooh! 
Oh. It was worth a try. Maybe in one of the goals. Wish he'd left a ball or something. Ooh. Ah. Hold on. What are you doing? I don't know. Whoa. Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. Sorry. Wasn't on purpose. Although, hey, behind the scenes. This is neat. What sort of stuff can we find? I'm not sure how much of this is floor. Ah. Not much. Hello. This is looking a bit different. Hmm. Hello. Oh, is this like the very first version? Of Stanley Parable? Or just an early draft? This is neat. Oh. Nifty. Sort of an uncanny effect. Go up. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice, and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Um. Ah, and here we are. Again. This game can go so many interesting ways, depending on where you go. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Hmm. This time... Left door. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh. <laughs> okay, I think we have some reading to do in the new meeting room. Okay. Warehouse access plan. Produce one plank to allow ease of access past fence. Construct bridge to allow collection of shiny float. Retrieve Chris's remains from warehouse floor. Construct new structurally sound bridge. Hmm. We need more planks. Interesting. So, hmm, well, let's read some more before I jump to conclusions. Uh, places to search. Mission status. Lol looks like... 427, ha ha ha. Five there be, just take it from me, gotta collect them all. Inside of a sequel exhibit? Check. A large room, lots of boxes? Check. Stairs, something to do with stairs. 
Somewhere both red and blue check. Oh, that might be the one we just got. It's the collectibles, the figlies. Nearby a fireplace check. A private but smelly place for an important person. I think I know where both of those are, actually. Is this some kind of game? There must be a point to this. There must be. There will be a reward for finding them all. Lies! Stop kidding yourselves. I want them so much. I want to go home. Who are you? 666, lol. There will be cleaning of this wall required. It's very left for dead. I like it. Um. Here, we'll start over here. Trust the completionist instinct. Why wouldn't they just tell us something will happen? This investigation, this room, they feel pointless, TPH. Weird spinning figurines. Hmm. What we don't know yet, what we forgot, what we know, and bonus stuff. Artist's rendering. In the center we have ideas, and off of that, what do they want? Our data, stock options, money? Should we make, uh, hang on. Should we make them lymphog... Lympho... I can't tell. Interns, yes, maybe. I can't read that one. Why do... It kind of look like 427. Why floating? Magic, dreams, our quarterly success, magnets, training exercise by management. Hmm. How many are there? Six. Can we sell them? Obviously. More money is sold. More money is sold together. Oh. Do we need contracts for them? NDA. Potential liability. Saw one in cargo room. Employee 421 building a bridge. Hmm. Maybe we are the collectibles. Shut the frick up. <laughs> Source of levitation? Who can say? Difficult findings. To whom it may concern, I managed to pick up sounds unusual to our regular office ambiences or local audio sources using an array of cardioid microphones, also known as directional mic, a microphone which picks up sound from a particular area. Analysis of the recordings allowed me to triangulate the source of the strange noise. Data shows that in all likelihood it's coming from a dark area behind a very warm place. I also picked up what looks to be reverberance off a porcelain surface. Anyone have any leads on this? Wouldn't you like to know? So. Figlies are hard to find. Follow clues provided by employee 416. We can do it. Red room? Thank you. Good luck. <laughs> Go on. Next slide. How we can find them. Bottom text. I think we have our new mission. What do we know? Small floating objects have appeared across the office. We have to synergize our resources to ensure their retrieval. There are many questions. There was no memo from management. Agenda. How can you tell you've spotted one? What makes them float in the air? Who took these pictures of them? I think one's going to be in the bathroom and one's going to be at the bottom of the stairs. Or somewhere on the stairs. Figlies are hard to find. Okay, we're here. And, uh, to do. These. Where are they? Please. Do not leave the office before reporting back any new findings. Teamwork and communication are of great importance during this unprecedented time of investigation. Thank you. Help, I'm a post-it. Well, I think we're already going in the right direction, actually. Beware the false prophet. Let's go get the remaining figlies. There's no one hiding in here, is there? Gotta check. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. True. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. In a moment. There wasn't really anything down here before. Ha ha! You're getting close now, Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. <laughs> Very soon, you'll collect the last one. And then the first number will equal the second number, and that will be it. We'll be different people by then. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them. And now we have them all. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and Marines. None of us can. Exciting times. 
So my understanding is that in this ultra deluxe version, a sort of actual ending has been added of sorts. That kind of feels like a good goal for us to aspire to. I think I've tried to look up a little bit without really spoiling much, but I am pretty sure that the figurines are involved in getting there. I'm not, I'm not going for... There's a lot of endings to this game. I am not going for all of them. We're not doing all the endings here in this playthrough. I was really just wanting to kind of dip a toe. If you're wanting to see all of them, by all means, pick up this wonderful game and play it yourself. It's not super long. <laughs> uh, but it does feel like we can at least make it to that new and like I need a different word than ending well there we are to be rich is it a crime to commit crimes isn't it rich what a life it would be to have to pick just one at last after episode of waiting and there it is the last stiggly wiggly savor this moment Stanley this is a real accomplishment this is doing something just for the sake of doing it where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all, but that would be like a reward, and we can't have that. No. So, instead I'll just say, it's done. We're all done here. And now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. I don't even remember that life anymore. I guess I'm in a bathroom now. And we're going down this route, so sure. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. Right. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. I'm good. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. What shall we try this time? I guess our options in here are pretty limited. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Hmm. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. It's like we've we've gone that away. We've and I think done everything that can be done that well, I don't know for sure. We've gone this way and, like, gotten out, and then done the same thing with the bucket. Did I ever... At the end, I remember, there's the option to turn mind control stuff on or off, and I think I've turned it off both times. Did I turn it on once? I don't remember. You know, let's go this way. And if I don't see another branching path along the way, then we'll turn it on instead, see what happens. Starting to lose track of how many of these things I've done. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Let's see. There was still the big control room, too, that has buttons and a lot of screens that I couldn't quite figure out what to do in there. Now the monitors jumped to life their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. 
the lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? I wonder. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? This room, yes. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Hmm. You know, maybe, maybe if I turn it on, then I can like... If, if I turn the controls on, then I can come back in here and actually do something with all this stuff once it's all like reactivated. That would make some sense, right? Because otherwise I can't... There's numbered buttons that are glowing, but there's one up there that I cannot reach, I don't think. Yeah, we're blocked. And then there's this other door over here that I don't know what does, but... Console disabled. Yeah, okay. I'm starting to think like we might have an option here. I have a good feeling about this. It's a good idea. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Incorrect. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? Maybe. After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, my. Oh, Stanley. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Okay. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. Better hurry. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. What all this means, I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated? All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine, I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside. Don't really know if that I did anything. Burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense back of everything power. and mm. take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. 
but I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock, why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? Maybe. I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? No. <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge, it's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stan. <laughs> that's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever after. Is this because of the blue door thing? Seems petty. I was wondering if there was like some correct sequence of things to do in there, but um... None of the buttons I was pressing seemed to have any noticeable effect. Hmm. Oh. Didn't say anything. What is it, the silent treatment now? Um. Stanley, I'm sorry, but I have to put a pause on things. <laughs> it's just, it's those figurines, those figlers. I haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? That's pretty good. Didn't it fill you to the brim with inner richness? Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? <laughs> I would love nothing more than to revisit the figurines just one more time. You know, sure, why not? At this point, I have fond memories of the memory zone. When Stanley found the collectibles. Those were good times. Is this a new path? I think so. Because, yeah, this looks about the same. Yes, let's go down here. Oh. Ah, here's where it all began. The first collectible. Back then, we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. Sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. I, too, remember this. <laughs> hey, seven out of six. I'm good at this. Behind a fireplace. Is that and where we found the second one? Was the second Stan Lorene. You found this one all on your own just by poking around behind the boss's office. You did that, Stanley. I'll be honest. Back then, I had no faith in you to find any of them, let alone six. 
but you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. Well, thank you. I've actually set this up so that the order we're remembering them in is the same order that I picked them up in. That's kind of impressive. Eight out of six. Oh. Okay, let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Can you remember? Yes, yes, we did the warehouse first, and then further on, shortly after in that same run, we found red and blue doors. I remember. Like it was yesterday. Or perhaps even more recent. Hey, that's exactly right. It was here in the warehouse. It was the third one. You picked it up, and then after that, you had three of them. Right. I'm glad these moments are so crystal clear in your memory, but I shouldn't be surprised. After all, science tells us that it's impossible to forget your third time doing anything. <laughs> ah. Nostalgic. Let's see, what came next? I recall red and blue doors. This isn't exactly... Oh, yes, we found a figly in this pink room. Oh, well, I can't actually say I remember being in this room, but it's here in the memory zone, so it must have happened. You must be right. It's a good room. I'd like to remember it. So, uh... Right. Then... Then there would have been right. Yes, of course. This was the fifth mini stand, and this one was really something special. It was under the stairs. I remember it so clearly. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the occasion. Ooh. Enjoy. How you found it <laughs> by the narrator. <laughs> Amazing. What's that down there? Just this Windows Movie Maker looking <laughs> four by three video. It's mini stand number five. Glorious. Ah, uh, you found it under the stairs. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Credits directed by the narrator, edited by the narrator, music by, produced by, best boy, and starring Stanley. Copyrighted the narrator. <sighs> Takes you back, doesn't it? I spent a lot of time making that video, but it was eight minutes I wouldn't have spent on anything else. <laughs> uh, I enjoyed it. Thank you. Now, let's see. That last one, of course, would be in the bathroom. Ah, yes. Of course. And then, Stanley, then we came to the last collectible, the final figurine, right here in the boss's bathroom. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind, perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. I think so. Who can truly say how the mind works? All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all of them. They're all collected. It was a moment unlike any other, except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. Similar, similar. Slightly different in that it was the final one, until there were another six. But now it's double the final one. Yeah. Good times. You are in the present. Oh, yeah, sure I am. And then there was no more, because we've caught up to the present moment. Nothing left to do but move onward into the future. Goodbye, Memory Zone. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Um, uh, no, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Oh. Stop the loading screen. Isn't there some way <laughs> we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just go backwards. 
We'll do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. See how that feels. Oh. Yeah, why not? The past. Do them in reverse order. That'll feel pretty fresh. Okay, yes, the boss's bathroom. I remember this. <laughs> I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's keep going. I want more. Yep. 13 out of 6. I can't be stopped. It's the right way. Oh, yes. Good. Good, 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 good. And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video we watched? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I love that video. Same. Quality production. Still don't remember the pink room, Stanley. Still no memory of this one. Good room, though. A solid room. I agree. I like this room a lot. For the record, we found that other one in the blue and red door room. Although I guess pink is almost a mixture of those two things, if you think about it. And it is a good room. Now. Right, of course. These really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have neutered the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. Next one. 16 out of 6. Part of me wants to know what happens if you fall off of that ledge. The other part of me doesn't want to do that. What's this way? Seems a bit blocked off. Because it was wrong! This was our second figly. Don't you remember? Yeah. Yes, I remember it too. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Keep going. Couldn't tell you. Lots of the past. Pretty great. Especially where the figurines are concerned. This is it. The very first one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figurines. Oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? Who can remember the time before these? Meow. <laughs> Ah, uh, when the seed was planted in our minds. Collectibles. Good stuff. All right. Look, it's the terrible new content that we were originally sold on. I remember hating it back then, but time does put a rosy filter on everything. In fact, I dare say I'm actually quite fond of it now. <laughs> Look how much fun the past is. I want more. More memories. Ah, I remember jumping. I miss it every day. Oh, yes! The two doors! Who could have forgotten that? A classic memory, this one. Ah, uh, it's real good. To the right. Oh. <laughs> I see. And before everything else, there was your office. Good stuff. Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your office? There's something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. Yes. I'm remembering something now. Oh. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then I was... I was different. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then somewhere along the way I stopped making decisions. I became lazy and I came up with... well, came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. 
He would make the decisions, he would decide which way to go. I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. But uh, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. I'll take care of myself. I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Let's go back just once and give Stanley one more run of the office and then I'll retire him for good. I did enjoy telling his story so very much. Okay, here we go. Okay. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Sounds like a good time. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. You know, maybe this time we won't frustrate him. We'll be cooperative. Click. <laughs> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. All right. For you. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Just a little bit of antagonization. Oh no, oh no, 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 not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. All right, all right. Just playing with you. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. All right, all right. Hmm. Don't suppose there's anything in here. No. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud. Just uh, skip nobody. forward a little bit here. He Two, began wildly tearing eight, through papers on four, the boss's desk, five. pulling books off the. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story <laughs> as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. <laughs> Ooh. That is nice. Maybe I wasn't too much of a rush back there. Hmm. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, <laughs> Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Uh, good game. So... Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Hmm. You know, we could try something else. Add a little Although spice. This passageway had the word escape written on it. The truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. I guess maybe that's 
Not quite the most feel-good ending, is it? Of course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had too much to live for. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? This is seeming about the same, more or less. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Oh, right. Sorry, I hit that one already. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Possibly. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? It's a pretty good default story you put together. The heart of the operation. To your credit. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. All right, all right. You're the boss. blackness, and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes! He had won! He had defeated the machine! Unshackled himself from someone else's command! Freedom was mere moments away! And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. I'd wondered Perhaps if I was able to like go back from here or something. Understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. You know, I might... Depending on happen what happens when we load back in here, Yeah, okay, I, I thought at some point either I went the wrong way or that something was going to, like, interrupt me. Kind of seemed like we were just doing one more run through, but no? Hang on, I'm, I'm gonna look up from here what, what else do you do to get to the sort of, like, conclusion of the game. I'm curious. 
Oh, okay, okay. Um, we might actually have access to it now, but I think we might have to go to like the uh, main menu to do it. Hey, epilogue. That's <laughs> that's a good name for it. Better than it's a better alternative to ending than I'd come up with. Well, why not? Let's call this finale. Let's see it. Epilogue. Many, many years later. Oh, right. This. I remember this. Hmm, well. Guess we start wandering. Or not. Oh. Well, this is nice. Pretty out here. I like it. Oh. Goodness. Pretty empty out here. Pretty, though. Oh. Hey, now. Memory zone. Perhaps just a little bit more nostalgia as a treat. Wow, the generator and everything. Is this thing on? In loving memory of the Stanley Parable 2. Place isn't in great condition, but the end of time will do that. Pretty dark. Ooh. Now what have we here? <laughs> Cookie Nine's blog. Uncompromising gaming content. Review of the Stanley Parable 2, posted on April 27th by Cookie9. Like so many, I enjoyed my time with the original Stanley Parable, which underscores how truly disappointed I am with its sequel. Rough. Where the first game teemed with originality, the Stanley Parable 2 is dull, uninspired, and often insulting to its fanbase. Rather than expand on what made the first game enjoyable, the sequel veers off into territory nobody asked for. An infinitely deep hole? Who cares? Where are the new endings? What about enjoyable bits from the Stanley Parable 1, like the adventure line? Instead, we get an uninspired side quest collecting figurines. Even this diversion feels incomplete. Collecting all the figurines gives you nothing. I must say, though, I found the bucket to be quite comforting. A welcome reprieve. <laughs> uh, pretty good. I also enjoy that the archives listed here on this blog suggest that they stopped posting things in 2013 the year of Stanley Parable 1, and only returned in 2027, presumably for Stanley Parable 2. 
Cookie's Corner. We need to talk about sequels. A protected post. Review. SNRAF3. Sorry, I haven't been blogging too much. And then, finally, a review of the Stanley Parable 2. I like it. Cat dog born. In the Mammal Times. Exciting. Good for them. Future's not so bad. <laughs> All the buttons. Don't really work anymore. Well, maybe a few. Jim. 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 Yeah. Jim. Don't know what I expected. Stanley Parable Developers. No more spin-offs, no more sequels by Snip Sweeney. When the Stanley Parable launched to massive success in 2013, its creators made plans to build the property into an entire franchise. But a disastrous critical and commercial reception to the Stanley Parable 2 has prompted the developers to rethink their ambitions, as outlined in a press release they published today. It's clear that more Stanley Parable is just not what the fans want, reads the press release. We thought we had a vision for the series that players would be excited about, yet it turns out this could not have been further from the truth. The press release goes on to promise to preserve the artistic integrity of the original game, and to stop assaulting fans with our reckless and insulting creative visions. The word sorry appears more than 25 times in the press release. More buttons. I mean, we know what they all say, but... Jim. 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 It's fun to remember. Goodness, there's a lot of these, huh? How many do they make? Jim. 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 Well, I do hope all the gyms out there felt validated, at least. Jim. Stanley. Ooh. Stanley. Does feel pretty good. Jim. Jim. They were onto something with that button. Hello. Ah! Figurines. Remember those? Gotta say, I'm really rocking this collectathon. I'm extremely good at it. Hello? Ooh. Hello again. Ah, you. It's nice to see you. But it's terrible to learn that there will never be another Stanley Parable game. Did you read what the developer said? Preserve the integrity of the franchise. What nonsense. The Stanley Parable is not sacred. We do not need to protect it. Screw the legacy. Let's keep making Stanley Parable games until the sun explodes. Let's run this franchise into the ground. Let's drag it through the mud and back. And if people hate it, who cares? You see, that was the narrator's problem. He was so obsessed with what people thought of his work. Don't make his mistake. Don't cling to the legacy. Let it burn. It's not hard. In fact, let me show you. Together, we are going to make the Stanley Parable 3. It's simple. All we do is change the number in the game's title screen. We also need a really dumb subtitle for the game. Something loud and gaudy. Go ahead, try combining some random words together to make a new title for our game. Ooh. The Stanley Parable 3. Dreams of challenge, or pocket full of pirate, or return to boyfriends, forgotten escape, deadly scream, atomic love. Hmm. I feel like there's an enticing vibe to... Forgotten Boyfriends. Don't you just have to know what's going to happen in that game? The Stanley Parable 3, Forgotten Boyfriends. It's absurd. I love it. 
Every time you restart the game, we'll advance the number of the sequel by one, and then we'll pick a new subtitle. That way, the Stanley Parable will never end. And nothing in the game itself will change when you do this, either. Adding more content sounds like work. No need to do that. It'll just be the same content, recycled again and again and again, with a new title screen. What do you say? Should we go forward with this plan? I like it, but I want you to have a say as well. Oh, let's do it. Good. Then it's agreed. A new sequel every time you start the game. And you know what? Since you've put faith in my idea, I feel like giving you something as well. You see, I'm noticing that the narrator never found a way to give you the broken achievement, did he? Of course not. I wouldn't expect him to know how. It's been bothering me. Let's fix it. All right. There. The achievement machine is all fixed. You see, I'm on your side. We are in this together. We're going to keep this train rolling. The Stanley Parable cannot end. It can only spiral in on itself forever. I must keep the wheel turning. I'm ready. Are you ready? Great. There's only one last thing we need to do. Please enter the current time. <laughs> well. Accuracy is important. No, wait, hang on. Hang on, nope, nope, nope. There. Except now, there. Please adjust the slider to the computer's barely visible. Thank you. Please enjoy the Stanley Parable. <laughs> oh, very good. I assume... That's it, right? I should probably check. Okay, yes, that is that is the epilogue. <laughs> and about as close to the conclusion as you can get, I suppose, in a game that just has a bunch of different endings you can keep digging for and finding and exploring. But I feel pretty content with what we've seen so far. If you want to see more, well, there's probably other full playthroughs of the game elsewhere, but I do highly recommend just going and picking it up and uh, experiencing it yourself. It is a delight. Thank you to uh, the folks behind this. Davey and William for making this, for coming back to it. I'm excited to see what else the two of you go on to make either together or independently. Because you made some great things. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this rare recurring series in our usual Wednesday one-off slot. Perhaps we'll get back to one-offs next week. Or something else, I don't know. It's kind of a free space, isn't it? Anyway, have a good rest of the week. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye!